What is up fools and welcome to the new spot or at least the new office in the new spot. I'm back in Florida and I'm pretty stoked because today I'm going to be setting up my first ever legitimate PC. <laughs> I don't know anything about PCs at all. I actually talked to a buddy on Instagram, Tactical Nerd, who helped me with all of this and set it all up. So that's his at, Tactical Nerd. I'll put it in the description and link below and all of that. But thank you, dude, for all of the help. Um, I do know that I got an RTX 3080, which I'm pretty sure is something that is like a cool thing that a lot of people want or are trying to get. So that's dope. And I've got the... LG Ultra Gear. It is a 4K monitor, but is the gaming monitor Nano IPS slash HDR 144 hertz, 1 MS G2 G sphere lighting NVI DIA G Sync compatible, or monitor. All right, hold up. Monitor para videojuegos Nano IPS slash HDR 144 HZ hertz comma 1ms g2g gtg sphere lighting compatible cone nvidia r g dash sync or the other language that i cannot read so um pretty stoked we're basically just going to get right to it i actually did open these up yesterday um they were at my buddy's house back in my hometown because when i ordered these i still didn't have an address yet and know where even we were going to be living in florida so I went to my buddy's house, picked them up, but I had to open the boxes up and take a peek. I was going to tape them back up for you guys so we could open them all sexy and get all the sounds, but I don't have any tape. I used them. I used all the tape on my boxes moving here. So we're going to have to deal with it, but let's get right into it. Okay, so here we have everything. That is the PC, uh, the keyboard, the monitor, and then some cords that actually were in this box. Um, that's actually my motherboard box but this is a pre-built so there's just some cords in there and whatnot for connection but first we have to clear off this i i have to get everything off of here aside from the mouse pad that way i can get all of this set up and really just try and dial it in and see how even it is i want it set up so all the cords got to be hanging it's going to be messy it's going to be disgusting but got to get all of that off of there and then get this stuff out of the boxes so that we can start actually doing this. Okay, so I was gonna wait to vacuum until after I kind of set everything up, but the desk kind of has some dog hair and stuff on it already, and the carpet's got hair all over it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just vacuum now, clean up, get a clean slate so we can start doing this. And I'll probably have to clean up after because there's probably foam and stuff that's gonna fall out of these boxes, but whatever, we'll get right to it. Let's get it. Okay, so I absolutely hate hair. Normally I'm wearing black or brown or a dark color and hair I just like, I own two Belgian Malinois that shed an insane amount, but I love them and I'm, I'll never get rid of them. But the hair is just so bad and I actually don't even allow them in my space at all, but the hair still gets in here. But either way, enough about that. We'll get into the actual point of this video, but I had to get rid of that stuff before we started. Okay, so I went with this keyboard basically because I'm not really a gamer. I do want to game, at least not on PC. I do it on Xbox. Um, and I don't really plan to game too much on this, just a little bit. And this had really good reviews. It was cheaper and I liked the compact size of it. And it is RGB as well, which is definitely big for me, um, but not too much. I believe it's kind of just like the underglow of the keys. And let's see. Yeah, sounds really good. So very stoked on that. And it's sleek and it's just, it's just nice. So this, like I said, is my mother motherboard box, but this was a pre-built. So in here is really just some cables, um, a mouse. So this did come with a mouse and a keyboard already, which I didn't realize, but I still would have went with my own, so I ended up getting a Model O series mouse, which isn't here yet, so I will use this one temporarily. And the keyboard, I believe, is still in there, uh, so we will mess with that in a little bit. But what else do we have in here? We've got 
some cables, uh, this thing, uh, some cables, and certif certificate of reliability. Definitely need this, very important. I'm not sure why, I'm just talking. And yeah, that, that, and a disc on my motherboard. Gotta watch the, the movie, you know, some stickies. Not bad. So cool. Oh, and the fancy. Ooh. That is a nice envelope. Look at that. Don't know what's in it. Don't know what it's for. But I like it. Let's make sure we're in frame here. Yeah, we're good. This is a 27 inch. Uh, this isn't, but this is a 27 inch monitor 4K display. Here is all the cables and wires for it. Um, yeah, and the instructions. So, we will leave that out. Ooh, a disc just freely floating in here. Owner's manual, very important. You know that it is serious when you get a box specifically just for your wires. That is when it is real. So, let's get into this. Hmm, let's see. I'll be honest guys, this is tough and there's a lot of stuff in here that I just don't know what it is. So I'm gonna go ahead, get all this stuff out, get it kinda set up and then bring you guys back along for the process of actually setting it up and telling you everything I don't know about it. Be right back. Let's try and slide it out of here. Oh my gosh. So when I was looking, um, like I said, this is my first legitimate PC. And when I was looking, Okay, so the screws are in here, all right. So when I was looking, I wasn't sure that 27 inch would be big enough. Now I'm coming from a 13 inch MacBook Pro that I basically use for my entire career in photography, which is about like six years. Um, and I got it when I was just doing photography. And then I started doing video and it worked for me. I didn't know any better and it has been working for me. Up until recently, I don't know, cause I've always pretty much shot in 4K, but the laptop's just getting I don't know, poopier or not as good, but it's been freezing every like five seconds when it's playing and then I have to pause it, but then it takes like a minute to register that it actually paused and then I have to hit play again and then it takes a minute to register and it starts playing, but then it stutters and then I pause it for real and it stops immediately and then I hit play again for real and it plays for less than a minute before I go through that process again. It's just been horrible and it just has not been good. And for me as a creative, you know, like, I, I'm definitely the type who's like, the gear you have doesn't matter and it doesn't. Um, I, for six years I've been using that laptop and it's been great, it's been just fine. It's, it's, I've been able to get my work done, my workflow, and the time definitely has been longer, but it has done the job. Um, however, I thought it was time, you know, I sold off something so I could get some new things and I'm just ready to push myself to the next level in terms of like, editing and, and what my PC or my computer or whatever is capable of handling. And I think that will enable me to do more in terms of like, what can I do? What can I add here? What new skills can I learn um, in order to push this video to the next level that my computer's not just gonna blow up and crash, you know? So I went ahead and I got a lot of stuff and it, it was pricey and it was an investment in myself, but I'm really stoked with it. So either way, random side note there, I'm gonna install this, I guess, onto the stand, and I'll be right back. But they definitely line up. Look, if I'm following the directions of this thing, I don't think I had to take these screws off. And actually, it looks like how I said the bottom was plug and play, and it just like kind of locked in like a Lego, and then you just twist, and it's good to go. Um, this is pretty similar. It looks like this uh, mount locks into the back of this screen, kind of just like a and then it's done. Um, hopefully that's true because if it's not and I go to stand this thing up and it falls, um, I'm gonna sh my pants. So, tighten these bolts back in. Not too much though. So let's do this first. You hear that? Did you hear that click? And it is on there. There is play, which I did see in the reviews as kind of a little play with this which I'll show you guys later but like I said dude like anything is gonna be better and, and gooder than my 13 inch MacBook display that I got six years ago you know so 
very stoked. Let's stand this thing up and see how she looks. Let's actually just make sure we look at all these numbers here. I already did that. Yep, so I already did the bottom. It says you can tighten it. So these things on the bottom here were just like twist. They've got little tabs to use your fingers, but they also have a, um, if you fold them down, you can access the flathead. So basically you twist until tight with your fingers and then just do a slight tighten with the flathead. Not too much, don't want to break nothing. And then, I do, oh, this is scary. I really do not want to mess anything up here. This is pretty expensive and I don't want it to fall and I don't want it to break before I even get to use it. So, let's just look at these. Yep, yep, yep. Lay it down, lock her in, one and two. Ooh, what is this? Make sure this is forward. Yes, it is. Okay. And then, that's it. So, let's do it. Let's stand it up. Oh my goodness. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Okay, that's not bad. It sounded bad. But it's not. It does, the monitor does twist. Move this here. Oh my god. This thing is massive. It's actually higher than I thought it would be. Back that thing up. Come on. Check this out. Definitely should have put the TV higher. Now we will move on, I guess. We'll get the freaking PC out of the box. Let me put all this foam and crap back in. Workflow organization is key. Get stuff out of your way. Just in general, that is a good rule of thumb. Clean up your workspace. Clean it up yourself. I could slide this out of there, at least try my best. But what we're gonna do is we we're going to actually destroy this box. I didn't know that the body was white on it because um, this is glass, but over here it's all white, it's all white, it's all white. It does have RGB fans and whatnot, I believe, on the inside, as well as I'm getting new RAM today because it's only got 16 uh, gigs of RAM at the moment. I want 64 at the least, so I'm going to get some new and some new ones today, and they are going to be RGB, so that'll be cool. And yeah, let's get to setting this thing up. I actually like the white. Um, I was going to paint this room black. Typically, I paint my office workspaces black, um, but. We just rent and they didn't want the walls painted. They also didn't want us to mount anything. And I was like, look, I have to mount stuff because um, a YouTuber with like 30 subscribers, like, are you kidding me? So they let me mount stuff, but I can't paint. So whatever, that's okay. Either way, I think the white goes well because the walls aren't black. Um, if I would have been able to paint this room and this was white, I probably would have just taken this apart and painted it immediately, but I think I'm gonna like it just how it is. So at this point, I basically am gonna go or start setting all of this up and plugging it in, which probably isn't gonna be fun. So expect the next shots you see this room to not be an absolute mess of just disgustingness and to be completely done to an extent because I still need something on that wall there because that's where the Wi-Fi modem and everything is and it can't just be sitting on the floor. And then over here, I need another display to take up this blank space, which I think is where I'm gonna put all of my shoes. I also like and collect and have um, Jordan 1s and a few other shoes, so may put those there on some type of display, I don't know. But at least the next shot you see will be this room is fully set up as it can be right now. And yes, I definitely need a new chair too. I'm back. It was just a split second for you, but it's been a few hours. Everything is set up to the best of its capability, and after I show it to you, I'll tell you about what I already have ordered and have coming in so I can, you know, add to it and what I also plan to add to it in the future after I find the specific things that I want. But here you go. is 
is the setup. Um, it's pretty cool. I don't really know what much of it is. And I definitely could have waited until it was a little darker to get that footage. And I definitely could have tried a little harder, but honestly, I just didn't want to. I, I am trying to push out content and not let like perfection and yeah, just perfection get in the way of, I guess essentially like what's good enough and what we'll do. Not that I'm not trying with content, but with things like this, I don't want to pressure myself too much with trying to put out an amazing, crazy, cinematic, unreal video. I wanted to involve you guys in the process, show you what I've got, and, and just bring you along for the ride. So I hope you guys like that. Now, if we get into talking about this, um, already I have ordered sound paneling, basically, like, uh, like black foam, basically, to go on this wall from this, so from the bottom of the TV to there is two feet, and then from the door to the wall is eight feet, so I ordered enough to fill that whole spot so it'll actually have texture and it will be black um, to throw behind there, which I also believe that will help me manage these cables and hide them better. I'll probably honestly just keep those behind the um, sound paneling, but I'm not sure, we'll figure it out, but that gets in tomorrow. So this space is gonna change a ton. Those are going, that's just, I've had this forever. Um, but this space is gonna change a lot and it's gonna change quick. I need a new chair for sure, so a new chair is definitely gonna be ordered soon. Sound paneling is already ordered. Um, this mouse is one that came with it, but I've got a wireless mouse, so that'll get rid of that little cable there. And then this guy, I'm probably going to take, because this is two pieces, which this is actually super easy to build, and I got this from um, a couple on YouTube whose names I can't remember right now, but they're really rad. I'll link them below, um, you know, and give them that credit. But I saw a photo of this before they put a video up of it and I made it. Either way, you can get this like at Lowe's. Like I spent like 20 or 40 bucks basically for all this. It's just two little pieces, one here and one there, the square. And you just mount them and then you plug and play as you please. And it's a nice little charging wall, charging station, whatever. But either way, I'm probably gonna take this bottom one and move it up so that it kind of goes like wall to wall because now this is hiding it and it doesn't really make sense, but I don't know, that's something to play with as well. And then I'm definitely gonna get some storage here, probably just those standard Ikea ones, like um, filing cabinets, I guess if you will, or cabinets that almost everyone has under their setup if you look it up on Pinterest or anything, but I'll probably put one of those there. And then over here, I'll actually have something that's a little bit more of an open display where I will throw my old Xbox, possibly my new Xbox, if I don't just put it up here because I do think they are pretty aesthetic and they look good. And they're really not that big and bulky, so I may put that new Xbox up there, but I'm not sure. I'll definitely get some storage for down here though to throw the old Xbox in and keep it connected because that one's got rock band. I'm not getting rid of it. Definitely want that. And I guess whatever else. And then, like I said, here, maybe some shoes. And here, something so that that is not just sitting on the floor like a turd. But yeah, guys, that is, that's it. So thanks for coming in. Thanks for stopping by. Make sure you like, subscribe, and do all those things that YouTubers ask you to do, and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Oh, also, really cool thing about this is this video I'm going to edit on this PC. So that's gonna be really cool. I only filmed in 1080, but it doesn't matter because 1080 still would make my laptop crash. So I'm really excited just for workflow, being able to have the 27 inch screen so all of my grids inside of Premiere can be like set up correct basically and I don't have to minimize my space for video in order to work my timeline or minimize the timeline in order to see the video. I'm really stoked on it. So in the next video, I'll let you guys know how that went, but Thanks for stopping by. Catch you guys in the next one.